please be seated. Good evening. I'm Beate Schmidtmann, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences here at Iowa State University. It is a great pleasure to join with faculty, friends, and families in celebrating this important day for our students. I welcome you as we recognize candidates for undergraduate degrees in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. At this time, Milan Hale, a junior in music, will lead us in the singing of the national anthem. Ian Lewis, junior in music, is providing accompaniment this afternoon. Please stand as you are able. Please be seated. Thank you, Milan and Ian. To our students, we are so proud to honor you today. This is a moment to enjoy and to remember. We have had you in our care for a short time, yet there are people here tonight who have been with you for a lifetime. For each of you, there is a story of support and of sacrifice of parents, friends, siblings, significant others, grandparents, and teachers who helped you along the way. This is their moment, too. I also want to thank the extraordinary faculty of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Seated on stage here are department chairs or their representatives. Their passion for education and innovation helps inspire our students and I thank them for helping our students reach this significant milestone in their lives. In a few minutes, I will introduce our student speaker. First, though, I would like to visit for a moment with our candidates. It is a College of Liberal Arts and Sciences tradition to provide a medallion to each student here this evening. I know you all have many memories from your time at Iowa State. We want to send you on your way with just one more memento to celebrate your academic achievements and your adventure here at Iowa State. Right now, I ask each of you to take hold of your medallion and read the three words on it. Invent, discover, remember. These three words encompass what a degree in liberal arts and sciences means today. All of you will invent, discover and remember in one way or another. Invent. You will be innovators and leaders. Your creativity will help address society's biggest challenges. 
You may even reinvent yourselves a few times over the course of your professional careers. Discover. Some of you will discover new scientific frontiers or discover new meaning through culture and the arts. Some of you will help others discover their potential as you serve with passion in professions of education, counsel, or public service. Remember who you are and the experiences that have shaped you, your culture, your family, your friendships, your time as a cyclone. Your unique perspective is a gift that you bring to the world and which the world needs. There'll be opportunities to use your Iowa State education to make a positive impact, to help others understand the world as it is and also imagine how it could be through conflict, through change, and through the best of times too. As a liberal arts and sciences graduate, you know how to solve problems because you know how to think critically and communicate effectively. Those abilities are essential in our world today. Many of you have learned to work with state-of-the-art technology, or you have explored how to start your own business through our entrepreneurship program, the Start Something LES Academy. You can also work with people who may not share your background or beliefs, and yet find common ground for the common good. All of these skills will serve you well in making a living and also in living a life. You are ready for the next step, whether it is graduate or professional school, military service, or your first professional job or an entrepreneurial venture. We are so excited to watch you from afar. We want to know about you before you become famous. So please come back and bring stories when you do. Whatever the future holds, you will always have a home with the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and Iowa State University. Please join me in a big round of applause for our graduates. Tonight's speaker, Anne Lent, is a graduating senior from Carlisle, Iowa. She will represent the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences as our student marshal at tomorrow's commencement ceremony. Anne is graduating summa cum laude with a double degree in political science and international studies, while also concurrently pursuing her Master of Arts in political science. Anne has been inducted as a member of Cardinal Key and Phi Beta Kappa Honor Societies, while also being a member of the Iowa State Jazz Ensemble and the Fraternal Values Society. Anne's accomplishments as a leader extend beyond the classroom to the Iowa State campus and community. Anne has demonstrated leadership in her roles as the Alpha Delta Pi Chapter President Vice President of Public Relations for the Collegiate Pan-Hellenic Council, and as a member of student government as the Director of Student Affairs. Anne's future plans are to complete her master's degree in political science here at Iowa State University. Please join me in welcoming Anne Lent to the podium. Thank you for the warm introduction. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, esteemed faculty, friends and family, and to the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, who for some reason thought it was a good idea to give me time in front of the microphone. As I stared at the empty page to write this speech, I drew a blank. I didn't know how to try to write something that joins us graduates together as a class that had a unified experience. We've all had unique timelines at Iowa State, so how can one experience possibly unite us all together? In discussing our last four-ish years, I would be remiss not to address what happened in 2020. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle leaving the royal family, but I digress. 
As I stared at the page and mourned the time that I was spending in writer's block, I realized that our wide variety of college experiences is its own beautiful aspect of attending Iowa State. One thing I've loved about this university is how much space there is. Space to try out new things, find places to engage with other students, and get involved in leadership. Iowa State gives us space to piece together our own college adventure. I know that personally, my involvement on campus has been an invaluable part of my unforgettable journey. One role I've been honored to take on was chapter presidency for my sorority, Alpha Delta Pi. This role has been the experience of a lifetime, and even with the sleepless nights, endless meetings, and perhaps a little less sanity, I wouldn't trade it for a thing. The opportunity to stand in front of a group of some of the most high-achieving women on campus and enable them to achieve even greater goals has helped me grow in my confidence and ability as a leader, and I am certain I wouldn't be the person I am today without this experience. I should have known when my freshman year started with a derate show that I was signing up for a wild ride. I know that not all of the graduates today started in the fall of 2020, but we can all admit that the number of things that went wrong for our freshman year was frankly comical. When you're facing college in those conditions, it looks less like a fun adventure and more like a risky expedition. With a start like that, it would have been an easy decision to quit, give up on our adventure, and choose something a little less daunting. But we didn't. We stood in the face of some of the craziest things we've ever experienced, and we decided to brave the storm. Not only did we brave the storm, we became the storm. We took hit after hit in stride, and today we come out the other side a little exhausted, but all the stronger for it. Today marks the beginning of our search for bigger and better storms to conquer. The typical spirit around graduation tends to be that you're entering the real world and that you're on your own now. That starting today, you're supposed to leave everything you know behind and venture out all alone. But I just don't think that that's quite true. I don't think that we're ever going to be truly alone. Instead, I think we carry with us pieces of every experience and every person we've met along the way. We carry the perseverance we learned from a finals week that we weren't quite sure we could get through. We carry the courage we gained from running for leadership in our student organizations. We carry the support from our college friends that stood by us through all the mistakes and failures we had along the way to our successes. We carry the love of our family who cheered us on as we fumbled our way past, through the past few years. As we graduate, I hope we all remember to carry our treasured memories of Iowa State everywhere we go. I can't wait to see all of the amazing things that each and every one of us will accomplish in the years to come. Congratulations, congratulations again, and I wish you all the best in choosing your next adventure. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. My name is Amy Slagle, and I am an associate dean here in the college. Before we begin our presentation of each candidate, I want to share some information and highlight some students who have earned particular academic distinction on their path toward graduation. First, as Dean Schmidtman stated earlier, you will always have a home here at Iowa State. And we want to help you as you transition into your careers. Uh, in our program, you will find contact information for LAS Career Services. Uh, remember, please, that our Career Services Office will continue to be available to you as an alum. The SciHire website also contains resources that will be free to you. In the front pages of your program, we've listed the students who are graduating with grade point averages in the top 2% of Iowa State's graduating class. The members of the Phi Beta Kappa honorary are also indicated. This prestigious honorary society, founded in 1776, recognizes the top liberal arts and sciences students around the nation. Some students' academic accomplishments are visible tonight, not only in the convocation program, but also in the cords and medals that they wear. The red and gold cords in particular indicate students who entered their final term with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher and will forever hold the honor of graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Let's recognize these academic accomplishments with a round of applause. Applause. 
Some of our students, in addition to pursuing their academic degrees, are also preparing to become commissioned officers. I'd like to recognize Major Matthew Willey, Lieutenant Colonel Francis Spurl, and Commander Justin Canfield, who are representing Iowa State's Air Force, Army, and Navy ROTC units as part of LAS. We're glad to have these leaders here to celebrate the academic achievements of their students and want to thank them for their service with a round of applause. We know that all of our students have worked hard and persevered to reach this moment, and we are proud of each and every one of you. We will now begin the presentation of the candidates. Associate Professor Jonathan Hasid from the Department of Political Science will join me. Students will be recognized by major. As their names are read, students will be greeted on stage by Dean Schmidtman and by the department chair or representative. This is a moment worthy of celebration. So if you would like to shout out or applaud as your student or as each student walks across the stage, please feel free to do so. Let us begin. Our first graduates are from the advertising major. They'll be congratulated from Michael Bujaya. Connor Michael Becker. Connor's favorite ISU memory is going to hoop at State Gym. Our candidates in biochemistry will be congratulated by Professor Roach. Dominic Bartels. Dominic's favorite ISU memories are the late nights hanging out and playing games with his friends. Megan Noel Smith. Megan's, Megan's favorite course at ISU was BBMB 410, a class focused on reading scientific literature. The graduates in biological and pre-medical illustration will be congratulated by Professor Sakaguchi. Marianne Aldrich. Mary Ann's future plans are to work in botanical field research to aid in and inform environmental policy. Madeline Bullion. Madeline would like to thank her family, Elizabeth Zimmerman and Kim Moss, for always supporting her. The graduates in biology will also be congratulated by Professor Sakaguchi. Peyton Burns. Yeah. Peyton would like to take her family, her boyfriend, and mostly her dog, Riggs, for getting her through. Evelyn Conejo. Evelyn would like to thank her parents and the professors who supported her through everything. Jillian Cosgrove. Jillian's future plans are to become a science educator for students in middle or high school. Andrew Dixon. Andrew would like to thank his maker, his mom, and his dad. Grace Gaber. Grace would like to thank her parents for their continuous support and Dr. Kirby for his mentorship. Claire Gobel. Claire would like to thank her family and friends for all the support and encouragement given to her. Evan and Sarah. Evan would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for supporting him. Leanne Skelton. Leanne is from Bonita Springs, Florida. We now present the candidates in chemistry. They'll be congratulated by Professor Holm. Olivia Grawlup. Olivia's favorite ISU memory is playing Kaleida Quiz with the other chemistry majors. We now have the candidates in communication studies. They'll be congratulated by Professor Fornoff. Sadie Broke. <laughs> Sadie would like to thank her friends and family for their support during her academic career. Matthew Mercurio. M Matthew would like to thank his family and friends, and especially his parents and brother, for their support. 
We now present the candidates in computer science. They'll be congratulated by Professor Genesari. Hannah Elise Ashley. Hannah has accepted a position with Apple in San Diego, California to work as an embedded software engineer. Yin Hao Chang. Yin Hao would like to thank his mom, his grandparents, his family, and friends for their unending support. Xu Wei Tsawei. Xu Wei's future plans are to specialize in computer science and explore the world with his cherished family. Andy Guo Fu. Andy would like to thank his friends for making his college life unforgettable and fun. Stefan Guzina. Stefan would like to thank his loving family who stood by him at every step of the way. Jason Lee. Jason would like to thank his family and friends for their unwavering support for him to be here. Cameron Letary. Cameron would like to thank his family, friends, and mentors for their support during his academic journey. William Henry Schulte. William would like to thank Dr. Battenoff, Dr. Schaefer, Dr. Tancredi, Dr. Abraham, and all his professors. Hunter Stwally. Hunter's favorite ISU memory is being an SI leader for Computer Science 311. Kyle Trabeen. Kyle would like to thank his fiance and family for supporting him in his fresh start at ISU. We now present the graduates in criminal justice. They'll be congratulated by Professor Hotstetter. Hope Nicole Anderson. Hope would like to thank her parents and grandparents, the HHI girlies, and her six amazing siblings. Haley Cantrell. Haley's, fu Haley's future plans are to get her master's in criminal justice and become a probation officer. Dakota Clark. Dakota's favorite memory is the first day moving in. Takahiro Furukawa. Takahiro's favorite course at Iowa State was criminal justice 484. Ryan Nord. Ryan's future plans are to join law enforcement. We now present the graduates in economics. They'll be congratulated by Professor Zelensky. Sean Joseph Kahns. Sean's favorite course at ISU was Dr. Wolgamuth's Economics of Brexit study course in the United Kingdom. We present the graduates in genetics. They'll be congratulated by Professor Sakaguchi. Gabrielle Fitzgerald. Gabrielle's future plans are to become a genetic counselor. Marlana Dornikes. Marlana would like to thank her professors, family, and friends. Kelsey O'Brien. Kelsey's future plans are applying to graduate school to pursue a doctoral degree in cancer biology. We now present the candidates in history. They'll be congratulated by Professor Banken. Drake Lindsay. Drake's favorite course. His favorite course at Iowa State was History 495. We now present the candidates in journalism and mass communication. They'll be congratulated by Professor Bougea. Aiden Wyatt. Woo! Aiden would like to thank his family for everything. The candidates in liberal studies will now be congratulated by Associate Dean Kent Kirby. Brooke Nicole Anderson. Brooke's future plans are to pursue a career in athletic operations at the collegiate level. Ella Kennedy. Ella would like to thank her parents, grandparents, and husband Michael for their support. John Limer. John would like to thank family, friends, and professors for supporting him on his collegiate journey. Isaac Tenson. 
Isaac has accepted a position with Bridgestone Americas, Inc. as a systems analyst. We now present the candidates in linguistics. They'll be congratulated by Professor Galletley. Kiera Dow. Kiera's future plans are to attend a graduate program for a master's in speech language pathology. The candidates in music will be congratulated by Professor Speck. Andrew Leo Flory. Job, Andrew. Andrew would like to thank his family, friends, and fiance for being alongside him every step of the way. Sophia Rose Pike. Sophia would like to thank her family, friends, and professors for all their encouragement and guidance. We now present the candidates in physics. They'll be congratulated by Professor Adakari. Michael William Blank. Michael would like to thank Iowa State University for the opportunity to show that he knows stuff. <laughs> Olivia Brulette. <laughs> Olivia's favorite course at ISU was Astro 346, Introduction to Astrophysics. Alexander Clark. Yeah. Alexander's future plans are to attend graduate school for physics. Andrew Scott Clark. Andrew's future plans are to pursue a PhD in experimental particle physics and become a professor. We now present the candidates in political science. They'll be congratulated by Professor Tuckness. James Crump. James' favorite memory is living in the Kappa Sigma house. Anne Marie Lent. Anne's favorite ISU memory is becoming the president for Pi Chapter of Alpha Delta Pi. Evan Masuris. Evan's favorite memory is DJing for all of my friends. John Patrick Clemens Swanson. John Patrick would like to thank his professors, uh, URN and Bernard Hernandez. <clears throat> Trinity Form. <laughs> Trinity's favorite course at ISU was Law and Politics with Dirk Deem, the greatest professor ever. <laughs> Haley Wegener. <laughs> Haley would like to thank her family and friends who have supported her through her undergraduate degree. Hongming Chang. Hong Ming's future plans are to serve as a foreign service officer for the State Department. We now present the candidates in psychology. They'll be congratulated by Professor Phillips. Adeza Ajiri. Adeza would like to first thank God and her parents, siblings, and the friends that became her family. Abdulaziz Al Quraya. Abdulaziz is from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Musa Lundi. Musa's favorite course at Iowa State was interpersonal conflict management. Sydney Ringenberg. Sydney would like to thank her fiance, family, and friends for all the love and support through the years. Jillian Severin. Jillian would like to thank her mom and dad, Olivia, Matt, Pete, Stephanie, Rebecca, Nick, and Max. Briley Stevenson. Briley has accepted a position with Bright Horizons as an early childhood educator. Caitlin Wallace. Caitlin would like to thank her professors, friends, and family. We now present the candidates in public relations. They'll be congratulated by Professor Bujea. Riley Groth. <laughs> Riley would like to thank the best dog ever, Ryder. The candidates for statistics will be congratulated by Professor Fraley. Reese Maternak. 
Reese's future plans are to attend graduate school for physical therapy. Benedict Yawan Neo. Benedict's future plans are to become a billion dollar startup founder. Now present the candidates in women's and gender studies. They'll be congratulated by Professor Hochstetter. Sydney Roberts. Sydney would like to thank her parents and husband for their support through her undergraduate endeavors. And now the candidates in world languages and cultures. They'll be congratulated by Professor Bailey. Leah Christofferson. <laughs> Leah has accepted a position with Des Moines Public Schools as a Spanish teacher. Owen McAuliffe. Yeah. Owen's favorite course at ISU is Spanish 352, pronunciation. <laughs> nice. Well, congratulations once again to our students. Let's give them another big hand. <laughs> At this time, we will close the program with the singing of the bells of Iowa State, led again by Milan and Ian. Graduates, we are very proud of you, and we look forward to seeing the incredible things you will achieve in the future. After this closing song, I invite you to go find your friends, family members, and guests so they can congratulate you as well. Thank you, and again, to all of you, congratulations. begin to knowing but then I know it's growing strong wasn't the spring and spring became the summer who'd have believed you'd come along Touching me, touching me. 